Now, keyboard shortcuts, I think, in any application, doesn't matter whether it's Lightroom or Microsoft Word, for example, are very handy because you can't really spend the whole day just sort of clicking and using the contextual menus, etc., etc., just using one hand because you just get uh, RSI in your right hand or your left hand, whichever uh, hand you're using the mouse with. So it's a very good idea to combine that with keyboard shortcuts using your left or the right hand, the unused, the non-mouse hand, in order to even out the workload. So Lightroom has dozens and dozens of keyboard shortcuts. They're all different depending on which module in. The best way to see them, of course, is simply to press on a PC control forward slash or on a Mac command and forward slash. So here are the keyboard or library shortcuts. Very simple. To get rid of them, I could use my right hand and click uh, using the mouse like that, or indeed I can just press escape on the keyboard. So there's another shortcut, ESC or escape on the top left hand side of your keyboard is going to get rid of them. So if we go into the develop module you will see there is a slightly different set of shortcuts. If we're going to the map module there is again a slightly different set of shortcuts. So luckily the shortcuts begin to get a little bit thinner on the ground and you're thinking oh my god how am I ever going to remember these? Well you don't have to. As I say I think it's a really good idea to learn oh, maybe 10 or 15. I'm going to click on the print one and let's have a look at these. There's a few more in the print department and then finally we've got web and we've got a few in there. So some of them are the same all the way through. As you can see here, tab to hide panels, etc., is the same all the way through. And some are unique to those particular uh, modules. So keyboard shortcuts, have a look at them, decide which ones you need, maybe even just write them down on a short sort of cheat, li cheat list in order to use them. And it's going to free up some time in your day and just make the editing process a little bit faster and more enjoyable.